When demand rises, existing firms work their existing capacity harder in the short run. Prices rise and short run profitability rises. Similarly, when demand falls, firms will work their existing capacity less hard, prices and profitability will fall. When demand increases and prices rise, how much do they rise by? One interesting example is the oil industry, where prices can vary quite sharply. When there's a relatively small increase in demand, sometimes prices rise quite a lot. Why is that true? We can explain it in terms of the existing capacity of the industry. Countries with large reserves of petroleum could increase the rate at which they extract oil from the ground, but they're still limited by a fixed volume of capital. Their wells, pipelines, refineries and distribution networks have a finite capacity. Increasing that capacity will take time. When demand falls and prices accordingly fall, do firms leave the industry? Not in the short run by definition because the short run is the period of time when you can't adjust the volume of capital. They may reduce output but they will not leave the industry. Coal prices have fluctuated significantly in recent years. At times they've been so low that mines were closing and new investment was scarce. Many existing mines operated at a loss. Trapper Mine is a coal mine located in northwest Colorado in the U.S. and we produce two million tons of saleable product a year and we have a long-term contract to sell coal to the plant you see behind me. The chain you see it farthest away from us is a drag line and it's stripping overburden to the coal seam. He's now exposed the coal and so these guys are collecting. Drag line exposed the coal in the west half of this pit. The, the machine at the end uh, looks a seriously expensive bit of capital equipment. The cost to replace those now would probably be in the 15 to 20 million dollar range per machine. Our drag lines work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They take one shift off a week for maintenance. Paying that much money for capital, you definitely want to utilize it to, to increase your production and get the revenue coming in. So if the price of coal were to fall, what do you do? Give up producing? Uh, reduce the amount you produce? When the price falls, in our case, it, it would be not going after the deeper reserves that we're currently going after. Now, if it was just a, a temporary fluctuation in the price, and of course we, we had already done the development, so we wouldn't walk away from those developed areas, but rather than continuing in that deep range, we would work our way back into the shallower coal again. So it, where you've already done the development work, uh, the costs now of extracting and using that stuff are pretty small because you've are, met are most of the small. costs already. Exactly. Uh, but in the longer term, it's going to put off your willingness to develop new seams. That's true. Once the pit has been dug, the short run marginal cost of extracting coal is low and therefore the firm will continue to produce even if price declines. So we've now worked out the profit maximizing equilibrium for the firm in perfect competition in the short run. But we have rather made an assumption and the assumption that we've made is that the demand in the market is establishing a high enough price to enable the producer to more than cover costs of production. Well, of course, that may not be so. Suppose demand were lower. Suppose people decide they want to buy less carrots than before for some reason. Suppose the market demand curve shifts to the left. Then the equilibrium price will be lower. It's perfectly possible that the low equilibrium price which is now established will be one which enables the farmer not to be able to cover its costs. So we'll now look at what happens if a firm in perfect competition makes short-run losses. 
In the diagram, you can see a firm faced with a lower price than before. The demand curve has shifted left, the equilibrium price in the market is lower. And now we have a situation where because the price is lower, given its costs of production, the firm finds that whatever level of output it chooses to produce, it can't cover costs. The best the firm could do is to produce where short-run marginal costs equals marginal revenue. Remember that marginal and average revenue are the same. It's always worth expanding output if marginal cost is less than marginal revenue. But at this profit-maximizing level of output, average cost is greater than average revenue. So total cost exceeds total revenue. The shaded area represents the loss that the firm is making, the minimum possible loss that the firm is making because demand is lower and therefore price is lower. It may seem odd that a firm would stay in an industry if it's making losses. But remember, this is the short run. And in the short run, the firm has a fixed volume of capital. It's in the industry, whether it wishes to be or not. In the long run, it can leave. In the short run, it's going to stay in the industry.